Hello, good morning. My name is Maddie Lou, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with a intro to another super fun project and I say that with every single project I introduce but that is because I choose to do projects that are fun for me. Um, like I know a lot of people do like a traditional project pair where they just try and use stuff up but that wouldn't be fun for me. I like themes, I like things that resonate with me. Like. Not so 2000s and this one which is pan and clue or like the clue project pan let me pull it up <laughs> on the facebook group just so i can get it right clue special panning edition is what it's called and the hashtag is panning clue and it was created by stephanie l it starts tomorrow which is june 9th i'm filming it on the 8th and i'm gonna edit and upload it and get it up for the 9th Stephanie actually did her intro early to kind of teach us all how to do it and to answer any questions which check out the comments because she did answer a lot of the questions pretty thoroughly like I went to well, I was gonna go leave a comment and then my question was answered so yeah I super appreciate Stephanie's intro and it's wonderful and this idea is wonderful so I definitely had to join I love Clue I literally bought a Seinfeld edition of Clue for my person and I have to play last winter-ish maybe like the beginning of this year on Boxing Day sales I don't remember but yeah I got really in I was really into Clue as a kid it was his first time playing it so I got a Seinfeld edition because he got me into Seinfeld um but anyway the the premise of the project is basically like the game Clue, so I'm gonna read the little intro really quick, so it's gonna be long. So before I get into the story behind the Clue, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the updates to this fun project and all the other projects I have going on on my channel. Make sure you check out Steph her channel as well as the intro video which I'm going to link down below for this project and if I didn't mention already this project is in collaboration with the fantastic ladies on Facebook so their Facebook group will be linked down below that's where I get most of my project ideas to be completely honest um but yeah let's get into the clue story so Mr. Bobby has been murdered and it's up to you to solve the crime Fortunately, all of the clues you need are in your beauty collection. This project is inspired by the classic Parker Brothers board game. Each month you can work on three products from each category. Suspects, weapons, rooms. Once the clue and product has been chosen, roll a pair of dice. I rolled my dice and picked my items and all of that. Um, and I have the video of the rolls, so I'm going to edit it in and it's going to look hopefully good. <laughs> Um, once the clue and product has been chosen, roll a pair of dice. This is the number of times you need to use that product to follow that lead. When it's time to update, so the ninth of every month, you can arrange completed prompts of the investigated lead into as many suggested scenarios as you can. Each scenario needs one clue from each category. For example, if you completed Mrs. Peacock, Professional Plum, The Knife, The Ballroom, and The Bill Bill Billard? I'm sorry, I can't speak English billiard room you can construct one guess because you have one lead you, because you only have one lead on a weapon so you can guess professor plum with the knife in the ballroom if you like this would leave miss peacock and the billiard room but since you have completed those prompts you can follow those clues to use them for a later update once you have a weapon to include interesting so basically if i complete two suspects two rooms but one weapon you can keep your extra suspects to use later once you get another weapon interesting yeah you would then select five new leads to follow so that you are still working on three clues in each category so each category has to have three products at a time so you're working on nine products total in this project 
so each person doing this project will have a unique solution meaning my solution will not be the same as anybody else doing this project so we have to make sure we're commenting on the original post our guesses as well as i guess mentioning them in our updates if we want um but they'll give us our answers on the group just so everyone's answering in one place so if you want to do this project and you're not on the facebook group um you will have to join just because that's where you're gonna get your answer to who you're guessing so yes everyone has a unique solution um if you guess correctly all three you're told you win but if not you're given like information about one of the three that you guess so if you have guessed professor plum with the knife in the ballroom and that isn't correct you will be informed that there is sorry not well you may be informed that there is no blood on the knife this would tell you that the knife is not the correct weapon professor plum may have killed mr bobby or maybe not you can investigate him you can investigate him again and suggest another scenario to find out you can eliminate the knife if you were to include the knife in another scenario you may simply receive the same evidence and remember your solution is unique to you so if someone else is told something it doesn't matter you could only work on a particular clue once within a month for example you can only complete miss peacock once for july update but once you have followed that lead completed that prompt and suggested miss peacock as a suspect you can introduce introduce miss peacock again and investigate her in august you could choose to use the same product as before or pick a different one i already said that it's on the ninth um but yeah that's the story behind this project like i said it's super interactive so shout out again to stephanie for creating this project and taking the time to generate outcomes for every single person that signed up so like i said if you want to join this project make sure you join the fantastic ladies facebook group that's going to be linked down below and sign up on the sign up sheet so staff knows you're participating and can generate a solution i guess if i think it's okay to join late i don't know i'm thankfully on time shout out me um but yeah, I'm gonna get into my products now. The first category I'm gonna go over, I think, is the suspects because it's by color. So it's a little bit easy. So the first three suspects I have are Mr. Green, which is a green product or packaging. And I decided to pick this Essence pH lipstick. Um, obviously, lime green packaging. It was trending on TikTok, I think, for like the UK version. I think that's a purple package, but this is the Canadian version. Basically, yeah, it's supposed to be like a color changing lipstick to your pH. To me, it looks like popsicle stained lips. Would put it on, but I'm wearing a lipstick today that's in a different project. So I'm not gonna test it out or anything. But my use is on this rolled nine uses and I will insert that dice roll here the next next suspect I chose was Mrs. White and it was a white product so I am rolling in this Rimmel um, white clear gloss really but it looks white in the tube so that's why I'm picking it it's called the oh my gloss plump so it is a plumping gloss Again, I would put it on because I love plumping glosses, but I don't want to stain the tube with my lip color, so I'm not going to do it. So that's my Mrs. White, and she rolled six uses. The last suspect, I'm sorry, I don't know where it's, the last suspect I have is Scarlet, and I'm rolling all of these that I have in because I want to get them out of my collection and it's a red product or packaging and it's both packagings red, in, red and the products red and it is the Colourpop Creme de Liner from the High School Musical collection and it's in the shade In This Together or no it's not sorry this one's Spring Musical I think In This Together was a gold one yeah this is Spring Musical it's just a red I rolled 10 uses on this I have used it a couple of times Honestly, I used it as a lip liner more than an eyeliner, but I think I'm going to try it as both a lip liner and an eyeliner. But yeah, 10 uses, 
I would mark it, but I think it's already broke. Guys, pray for me. As far as I feel comfortable rolling it up. So this is what it looks like before 10 uses, and I will show y'all what it looks like after 10 uses. Now, pray for me as I roll it down. We did it. <clears throat> it's safe. 10 uses on this guy. So, three suspects. I have a little bin for my project items now. I literally got it for my birthday. Um, my bestie gave me a little basket for my birthday with a bunch of cutesy things and then tickets to a drag show. So we are going to be five rows away from Miss Sasha Colby and I think I might cry just thinking about it. But yeah, everything was in this little bucket. So now I can use this bucket for project items and other things forever and it's pink and my bestie knows me so well. So those are my suspects. Okay, now the next category I have is the weapons and the first one I thought of instantly is the knife. I'm sorry that I'm like looking down here awkwardly. I'm reading my notebook but it's the knife and that was a product to use to contour and I instantly wanted to use this product because I've this is like the bronzer or contour that I need to use up. I use it for, I use I use bronzer and contour simultaneously. Like I just do it here. Do it here like I'm using a lot of cream contour now, but this is basically my powder contour alongside my O Snap product and a different project. Plug. But anyway, I'm using my Hula bronzer. I depotted it from that big bulky box. I do have it just for when this isn't empty, but I wrote like Benefit Hula on the back. And um, she's just in my little face Z palette. She goes in this corner, but that's where she's at. How many uses did I roll for her? We rolled eight uses for her. So I'm working. I can't remember where I was working. I wanna say I'm working on like this bottom half here like I'm trying to lower that you can kind of see the side pan there but it was also jabbed back here so I want to say I was trying to work on that so I'm working on one of these two sides maybe this corner because there's this jab too because the box always jabbed into it but <clears throat> yeah I was definitely concentrating on my my brush on a specific point when I was using it last but that was a couple months ago at this point so we're bringing her back in for this project because it's just usage goals so yeah, her usage is 8. The next weapon I have is the Revolver, and it's a spray product, I believe. Yes, it's a spray. So I chose my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Just I think this is a setting spray. It's just a mini. I've had it for forever. This is where we're at. Move my freaking face. That's where we're at. Maybe one day I'll mark my products. She has only three uses, so I really don't need to mark it because it's usage goals and there's only three on this, so this will definitely be done by the next update. I decided on the wrench and it was a product you use to fix mishaps and right now that's the purpose of this product for me and it is my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I was going to roll this into 50 shades. But I'm like, look how close I am. Like, I'm literally spattying this out every single time I use it. As you can see, that's why it's so clear down here. It's because I've been using... My freaking face gets focused on. I've been using the spatty. Next, we're clearing out this little spot. But I only rolled three uses for this guy. So, I definitely won't use it up before I hit three uses. Um... But yeah, I use this when I, because I'm using like a foundation sample for my cream contour before I put my foundation on. So I use this to put it like right under the contour to like blend it out and make it look a little bit better. So I'm using this to fix the mishap that is my cream contour situation. Maybe I will film a get ready with me just so I can show y'all how like ridiculous I look. And then how this fixes it. So yeah, 
only three uses on this guy, but I'm so excited to get it emptied. I'm so freaking close. And then eventually I can try the glow one because I really want to try it, but I have a drawer full of concealers I need to get through first. That is my last weapon. So the next category is the rooms and this was the hardest category. I have crossed out so many items for room. Like I decided one, I changed my mind on one room because I had a palette in a different project and then I chose a different room which I pulled a palette in for anyway and it was a whole thing and then for one of the prompts, the prompt product I was going to use did not feel good on my skin. It was a primer. It was the Tatcha primer. One of the Tatcha primers. You'll see it in an empties because I'm decluttering it because I put it on my face and as I was putting it on my face it was peeling and I checked my phone because I have to go to work at 1.30. I was putting it on my face and as I was rubbing it on it was peeling, like pilling. I don't know. But yeah, it wasn't good and it always did that and that's why I didn't use it and that's why I held on to the mini for forever. Then I did it again once I finished up my Laura Mercier primer and it did it again and I'm like, I'm done, I'm not using it. So I had to switch up what I was using for that product, for the base product. So, all that rant to go on to my rooms. The first one I decided on was Study and that is a skincare product. And this product, after this project, we'll see it in a different one, but I'm not telling y'all which one. And it is the Ordinary Caffeine Solution, like, it's like an eye gel or eye oil. Basically, you're supposed to put it on your eyes, AM and PM. This is where we're at, you can't really see it, let me help with my light. About here, I have 11 uses on this, and after, like I said, it's done in this project, we'll be rolling it to a different one to finish, but that is my skincare item for study. The next room I decided on was cons conservatory which is like plant themed plant based and I don't think I have any like plant based company products I do have like plant themed products this is the very first one I saw and it made me chuckle so I'm going with it and it's my makeup revolution good vibes chill vibes palette plants weed leaves I'm counting it okay some of the shade names, I think. No, none of these have like plant names, but that's okay. It's green. It has the little leaves embedded in the shades. My usage goal for this, I want to say is 10. Yes, I have to use this 10 times and it's green. So that'll be fun, but it's a beautiful palette nonetheless. And I didn't mean to roll a palette into this project. It just kind of happened when I chose a plant themed or based and then I saw these packaging. So my last room I kind of gave away. So the theme is a base product and the room is haul. So I was going to go with the product because that's what you use for your base and then that primer didn't work. So I decided to go with a product that I use literally after primer after contour like my cream contour but before that concealer cleanup and foundation and it's a basically a cream highlight is what i did what i call it and it's just like a mini cuff of fx stick i got it as a mini so so long ago and i've been using it as a highlight for forever it's actually currently empty and dug out but obviously it's not finished. If I'm rolling it in this project, it's yeah, empty and dug out. So I'm trying to call it an empty, but it's depotted into this guy. We've seen this guy a thousand times. Not the best packaging to depot into because like my clasp isn't that great, but it's still good. It hasn't dried out. This is how much was in that. And I've used some. So there was more than this in that like deep in there so I feel like this is like double the product and people would throw this away a lot of people would they would call it done and I'm was honestly over this highlight but now that it's now that I'm getting the stuff that's like fresh and creamy and I put it on a wet beauty blender and then just tap it here Amy was commented on one of my videos I want to say it was my deck of panning 
or one of my 50 shades about my highlight and it was because I had this on the base. It's insane. But yeah, that's my last base product. I have to start work in two minutes, so I'm gonna run over to my office. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys stick around to see all of my updates and all of my future projects. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody.